Welcome to the video, my friends. I hope you're all doing well in these times, as always. And today we've got something very special. Checking out Dead Matter for the very first time, live on Twitch. And of course, this is the highlight video on YouTube for those that missed it. And to gather all the information in one nice little tidy place. Maybe two. We'll see how many footage I've got that's usable. Maybe there'll be a couple of videos out of this. We'll have to see. So, of course, it is under NDA, and I had special permission from the developers and joined by Shiny Haxorus on the dev team as well, taking me on a journey and talking through some of the process and decisions throughout Dead Matter's current development process. And, of course, there's still a, lot, a long way to go. Being totally honest and transparent for you guys, there are some performance issues. From the get-go, we have a pretty bad world streaming stutter. That uh, if you go into a new area of the map and it's loading in all the new assets and uh, objects, especially in the larger towns, it will cause your game to really stir. And I'm running a 3900X and a 2070 Super with 16 gig of DDR4 memory, running on an SSD as well, an M.2 SSD, and it chugs, it chugs. But if you're in an empty area like the farmlands or anywhere else that's not got a big town, a big city, it's absolutely fine. 60 FPS, I played at 1440p as well and it was fine. I did have to drop to 1080p and drop some settings uh, to make it kind of bearable for you as viewers. Um, you know, but optimizations always usually come later on in development. This is very closed, very early alpha. So do keep all that in mind. Of course, I did have people as well <laughs> accusing me of being paid by developers to do this kind of stuff. I am not paid. I don't pay them. They don't pay me. If I do get anything, I do fully disclose, as you know, on my videos, say they're sponsored. Uh, and generally, I'm not paid at all. I just get supplied a key. So I'm sponsored a key to play. And uh, in this case, you know, I am a partner. So I guess in a way I was supplied a key, but nobody's paid to do anything. This is just off my own back. I'm very interested in Dead Matter. The devs uh, know who I am and I know who they are. And we were, you know, very amicable in deciding when to do this and show you guys as much as we can in detail of what questions I was asked to ask the devs, as well as some chat while we were live so don't forget to check out the stream because we'll be doing more of these with shiny hexaurus in the future on future updates to show off new implementations and new features so keep an eye on the twitch at twitch.tv slash septic falcon all links are in the description below so yeah just keep all of that in mind very early access i do give my own feedback as well i mentioned several times about the performance issues in this current build but it has been improved over the initial release of this closed alpha that is under nda so you know, I can say from my play experience here that is public now that they have made improvements already to optimization, but there's still a long ways to go. There are bugs, but of course, it's closed early alpha. These are to be expected, and these will be ironed out, hopefully by the early access release, which I think is slated for next year, but there's no exact date for an early access. But yeah, um, it, it, the team's like 14 people, I think, the dev team. So it's going to take some time, and an open world survival game is a big big job it's not easy by any means and anybody who knows anybody that has worked in this kind of environment or game dev in general knows that it's not an easy job we've had to deal with daisy through its development its ups and downs as we know and uh it'll be similar with dead matter no doubt but anyway i hope uh, uh, you enjoy this gameplay footage and all the answers and the showcases we get done here we take a look through barricading claiming a house uh take a look at traps and what you can do inside a house barricading windows locking doors we take a look at the police station, breaking into the gun locker. We go over the gun mechanics, of course, which was a big thing for me. I love the look of the guns. I think Shiny and the team on the animation side of weapons have done an amazing job with the animations, the look, the textures, the models, sound effects especially. I love those sound effects. Please don't die them down in any way. They're super impactful and visceral was the way I described it on stream. Super visceral and in your face. You know, if there's shots fired, you're in trouble. You're just going to poo yourself just from that gunshot it sounds so real i guess it's, it's some of the best i've heard and seen in a game like it's up there with tarkov kind of thing you know tarkov's weapons are, are amazing and this is you know a good way there you know for a, a bigger survival game experience i think I'm, I'm, I'm super excited more than anything for pvp and gun play because that's my my thing i love as well as showcasing all the other mechanics of course but pvp is where i'm at for testing that kind of thing so anyway i, I gotta stop talking and blabbering on and we're gonna join a, a shiny hacksaurus and talk about the game dead matter and our experience so i hope you enjoy don't forget to check out the twitch in the description below to check us live with many games but also dead matter in the future when we cover it again in the future in the future enjoy and i'll see you peeps next time 0 0.2.1 of dead matter oh yeah Ah, so a quick update. There's a lot of footage. I didn't realize the weapon showcase section was so long. 
So this video is a bit longer than usual. So the next video I do will be on the base claiming or the building claiming and crafting your wars, your base traps and your locks for windows, doors, barricading and some crafting as well as exploration and the police station in the next video. This video will be purely just a weapon showcase, but it will talk about the recoil and inspiration for weapons and the animations, audio, keyframes and all that. And in the next video, we will be taking a look at all that other good stuff around the world on a live server. So keep that in mind and subscribe to see the future video, which won't be long after this one. And leave that like button so more people get to see it and share it everywhere. Show your friends if you if you think they're interested in Dead Matter or another survival game. So yeah, uh, weapons, pretty imp impressive, but a lot of people have shown off the weapons. And next time we want to show off more that maybe people haven't seen so much. So look forward to that video. So, um, my name is uh, Shiny. Most people are, know me as Shiny or the Shiny Hacks or Hacks or some variation of that. Um, I'm the the lead. Well, I think it's I think the the title says uh, the official title I go by is Keyframe Operator, but for all intents and purposes, I'm the lead animator. Or uh, mostly first person. I dabble in third person, but mostly first person. So with the, the keyframes animator stuff like that, you've you've worked on weapons or you worked on character as well, uh, the infected I zombies. I don't do too much character these days. I haven't. Uh, I've done barely any character work, uh, character animation on Dead Matter, but I did handle the vast majority of the um, the first person animations, like the weapons and all of that. Anything and the, all the tool belt items, all of that. Just taking a look at the inspect animations and the check ammo animation. What was uh was there any inspiration for that? Or is that just something you wanted to make the weapons more immersive, be more interactive, you know, interactive with the weapons in the world? For the just having inspect animations in general? Yeah, inspect. I mean I love the inspect animation in my games anyway, to take a look at my, my weapons I'm playing with in any game, first person. Um but then you've got the check ammo as well. Is that just a decision for more immersion with the weapons or involvement? Mm -hmm. So uh, essentially, the well, the inspect thing I just had, I just thought would be nice for if we. I think the eventual plan down the line was to be able to apply camos to weapons, and kind of have some kind of basic cosmetic customization, custom, eh, customization system. Yeah. Uh, in that sort of vein, so I figured inspecting would be nice for that. Um, I figured it'd also be nice for, say, when we do jamming, being able to see like the malfunction and all that. Um, as for the ammo checking, um, that was more of a, uh, so when I started out, uh, animating, I was a, uh, I was working on a mod with uh, a friend of mine for Fallout New Vegas. Uh, that was the first game I really did work on, um, uh, not in official capacity, but as a modder. Um, and we had a, we came up with the, an, a mod for like, well, we had a mod for uh, ammo, ammo checking and inspections, like condition checking, because that game had condition checking and your weapons can jam and all that. Yeah. So we wanted sort of a more visual element to it. So through that is sort of what inspired like the system that ended up in, in DM. It's just something I kind of wanted to carry over from uh, sort of a relic of the past I just wanted to bring back. Plus, uh, I sort of had it to make it I, I sort of have to make the, the game sort of playable in a, a hardcore sense. So, especially when hardcore servers become prevalent, if they do, you know, and all the HUD elements are turned off, still got to be, or at least most of the major uh, HUD elements are turned off. You know, it'd still be useful to, like, say if you can't look at your inventory, like your inventory doesn't show how much ammo you have in your magazines until you check or something yeah. like that. Whether that's something like we specifically do or whether that's something that gets modded in that, that, that at least has the, you know, capacity to be a thing i just thought it would be something nice yeah that's pretty cool so with a hardcore you'd have no hud on on your main screen you'd have to go into the inventory to see uh, your food levels and things like that but then you couldn't see your anim uh, ammunition count so you'd have to you know use that check ammunition animation to, to see that which makes it a lot more immersive anyway yeah exactly um... that extra animations on top I, I don't know exactly in what capacity those servers will kind of exist because I assume there'll be some kind of 
you know, variants in between them. Like some of them might uh, opt to keep the uh, the caps lock caps lock uh, quick like quick view of your of your needs. Some of them might opt to get rid of it, so it, it just depends. But I figured it'd be better to have it than not. Yeah, definitely. No, I love those those kind of animations anyway. And I mean, I play with them all the time, inspecting my weapon, especially when it's got customizations on it, attachments or skins and stuff like that, camos. Love looking at them. And they're good for screenshots as well. For like, if you're a content creator for thumbnails and things like that. Yeah, I've seen so, that. They, they get heavy use in thumbnails. So yeah, I guess yeah. it's good for that too. Loads of uses for it, so... But when you get here, we can uh, probably show a few more weapons, I guess. A couple outside won't let me out. Zombies. Do you have any sodas? W one. Black tea. See, maybe you can drink it and throw the can to, like, distract them. Oh. I think I think it kind of worked. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't think I threw it far enough though. Uh... I'm not gonna lie, I can't believe that shit worked. <laughs> you didn't know it's gonna work. I mean, I knew, but like, you know. Can I put that mask on? Or is that is that a helmet thing only? <laughs> uh it's cool. Alright, okay, I'm gonna keep that. Uh we should be able to tear into ranks. Tear into ranks. Uh can't do anything else for those. So if we have those, we should be able to there we go. Dragged on. Oh, and made bandages instantly. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I just made some uh, bandages. Um, I've noticed some stuff is like blue and purple. Purple seems to be for like tools you can use. Is that, the, the, like they color coded? Ah. Yeah, they're color coded. So like uh, there are certain items that are consumable. Like consumables are usually blue. Um, tool belt items, items that go on your, like that bottom tool belt slot are purple typically. Okay, yeah. It's uh, just something to help kind of quickly identify those those items. Awesome. Because I saw a knife that was purple. Could I have used that to stab somebody, or is that a tool that... I believe it's a pocket knife. You can use it for skinning animals. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so this is going to run a lot better, because we're in a confined space right now. Um, but we got all the weapons here, so we can show them off for a little bit while we wait for a daytime server. So let's pick up a gun and show... Oh, we, you got to have a, got to have a bit of... Got a bit of uh, Tech 9, haven't you? Where is the ammo for this? Feel free to let any uh, questions you have fly while you're playing around in there. I mean, we we're going to talk about, um, you know, your uh, your vision or the plan as a team for the weapon. But I'd imagine being a survival game, you was going for realism anyway. Uh, as far as like recoil goes, animations, um, the audio as well is. I was mentioning earlier to to chat, kind of like a more visceral than other games, survival games spe uh, specifically, like louder, sharper. You know, a gun's being fired, especially at you. Uh, in this, like, um, sounds more real, I guess. The gunshots, more realistic. So, is that something that you wanted to go from? You know, direction you wanted to go in from the start, or? Uh, I mean, the the initial kind of, uh, I, I don't know if there's a, a particular inspiration per se. Um, I mean, I, I played a, a lot of FPSs. I played I, I play all types. I played Far Cry. I played a lot of Tarkov back when there weren't so many hackers. Uh, I play a lot of Battlefield. Like, so it's just kind of, I kind of just, in general, like, because I wanted to make the gun, like, the, the kind of the system fit the game. Instead of trying to make it realistic for the sake of making it realistic, you know? Yeah. Um, so, like, 
I wanted to kind of keep the the realistic aspects, uh, but not go super, um, super, super like detailed with it because it's just not necessary for this kind of game. Like I don't need to. You don't. You don't need to. You know, take apart every single aspect of a weapon. Like you don't need to like attach gas blocks. You know, for to to kit your AK properly, it's kind of just unnecessary. I mean, there are weapons that you can heavily modify, like the like the uh, the AR platforms are pretty modable. Um, with different pieces, the M14s are as well, or the M M1A, depending on which platform. But I just wanted to kind of kind of keep to keep to their keep the give the give each weapon an identity and kind of help it just stick to that, have it play that role. You know yeah definitely i think it's um it's working so far i think the animations and everything and the well the, the textures the models everything about the weapons is real standout uh, in dead matter at the moment i think it's uh in my opinion some of the best in a, a survival game definitely in the survival genre at least yeah i mean i really just wanted to like, basically when i when i Played survival games like the first one I played was the heck's uh, the magazine? I think it was miscreated, and uh, I may have played a little bit of Dead Side, and like I never really got into Daisy like that, but just watched a lot of gameplay of it. It just I just I wanted to kind of you know up the standard for first person animation in survival games because there wasn't really any with you know like that like so many games i hear like oh like the game is great but like the combat sucks like the gunplay sucks and i like i really didn't want that to kind of be the case so i mean for for what i could control which is like the most of the weapon system i wanted to kind of make that stand out um and don't get me wrong i couldn't like i didn't do it by myself um nick contributed a large part probably just as much to this as i did on the code side so yeah um, I don't know. I just wanted to make it kind of like I wanted to make it enjoyable for the guys who you know play Tarkov and kind of expect all like the you know at, le at least approaching realism kind of kind of deal with the weapons, but also make it accessible to people who like play Modern Warfare, um, play, play Modern Warfare or something. Like it's it's a lot less slower paced. Like the gunplay in general is a lot slower paced than a game like that, but you know still um, accessible somewhat. Yeah, definitely. It's it, it's definitely got that slower survival pace to the gunplay and the movement of the character, at least at the moment, anyway. And um, I can definitely see the inspirations from some of the like Tarkov as well, which isn't a bad thing because the gunplay and stuff in in that is is amazing. So. Oh, ho, 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 ho! sorry about your ears, but that sound good. That's, that sounds good. Oh my god, that's good. What? Are we? Yeah, I just fired the CAA2 for auto. I'm um, loving it. Yeah, I think the the recoil on some of the guns will have to be tweaked a bit, but you know, it's just something that's going to come with time and balance. The heck? There's quite a few guns as well in already. Which I'm quite surprised by. Yeah, about three years, about thirty guns. <laughs> yeah, that's a honestly, lot of guns. Uh, honestly, I probably could have got done more, but I wanted to. I kind of went over. I went over all of these like multiple times. So, you know, is how it is. So we've got this. Um, it looks like a, a Glock or something here with aftermarket slides and factory slides. Can I can I assemble that in my inventory? Yes, you can. So pick up a Glock on the ta on the the table. I think behind you, if you're looking at the slides, and then you can put the right now. You have to put the guns into your inventory. Uh, in future, you'll be able to turn to take off and put on certain modifications while you're. Uh, I believe while weapons are on your back, just not like just not like actively out. But uh, for now, they need they need to be in your bag. You'll probably also need to grab the the big green bag over where you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Got no iron slides on it though, I think I broke that bit. You might have took them off. If you had to take the slide off, you had to take the iron slides off. Ah, found it, yep. Red protector and iron slides. I got them. I'll put them back on. Mr. Low Floored, yes, we have um, we have programmers uh, that do the programming and the net perfor network performance. Though we all contribute to that in some way. Well, this bag's huge. Yeah, it's a dead bag. I believe in game you need to find uh, weapon cases. We have uh, like weapon case items that fit in a lot of the backpacks that you can use to modify weapons. And that's the factory. Yeah, I'd imagine a lot of the things we're seeing is um, fixed anyway from this build because this is a couple of builds old, isn't it? Yeah, this, this, this build's pretty ancient. You imagine, like, as soon as we put out a build, we get, like, million, we get, like, millions of bug reports. So, yeah, I can imagine. Day after that, it's just, yeah. And, of course, we want to check the, uh, the Magnum out. Animations are nice, as we can see. And we've got different types of barrels here, different grip. We've got speed loaders. I, I do love the uh, the attachments, like the revolver, changing out the barrels, mid-barrel, long barrel. We've got snub barrel here, nice tactical barrel. Loving that stuff. Yeah, the the big one's supposed to take a, a pistol sight, but uh, again, in, my, in all my infinite wisdom, I forgot to fix that. So we can uh, we can remove the wooden grip and put on the uh, modern grip, the rubber, and then uh, tactical barrel. Okay, let's let's customize this. I'll make it a uh, snub. I quite like a snub nose. Let's have a look. Like, to be totally honest, like the the feedback that we get from like releasing all the builds just helps a lot for being able to fix stuff. Like, there's a lot of stuff we just simply, well, like even with this, like even with our size, the size of our team, like, there was like 15, 20 people. Like, there's no way we can find a lot of this stuff. A lot of stuff's hard to replicate with only that many people. Like, it's it's just it speeds up the process a lot. It's infinitely helpful. I can't yeah, for sure. It. And for what you've done specifically with the weapons and things for the size of the team, I know you've been doing it for quite a while now, but it's it's impressive as far as weapon weaponry goes. And I'm really, um, I am really looking forward to to getting in some PvP in this. I'll tell you that using these weapons properly. Well, at least you might be able to have some fun shooting the zombies outside if you haven't. Oh yeah. Oh, are these guns out here on the shelves loaded or not? Oh, this is just extra um, mods for it. On oh, the, uh, yeah, on, on the shelves, those are uh, extra like stock mods and stuff like that. Just basically stuff I couldn't fit in the shelves in the range itself. Oh, okay, cool. Let me, um, is there a Mosin in here? Yeah. There we go, I got it. Um, let's have a feel for um, what we got. We got this P220 here. Oh, 
three three point eight seconds. This is your best time. You practice shooting those heads up there. He got no legs. Excuse me, sir. He's got his hand up in the air. Oh, why would you do that to us, sir? You want to see the macro as well? Might as well take a look at all of them, I guess. Ooh. Lovely. Illumination. Most of the guns support animation or support eh, ADS reloading. Uh, some of them. Probably won't because of some math limitations, but a lot of them, like the majority of them, probably. I've just noticed that you've got ADS animations and hip fire. It's fancy math, pretty much, which is why some of them will probably not be compatible with it. But for those that work, it's nice. No, it's the uh, pinky and the index goes out as well. Yeah. You can also ammo check an ADS, which is nice. Oh. Nice. That one's not great. I'm going to have to tweak that one, but you get the point. No plans on adding uh, anything like a Desert Eagle 50 cal or anything like that, just for just for lols. Yeah, we'll see what I can do about a Desert Eagle. With all these sexy animations and sound effects, it's it's got to be done, right? It'd be fun for sure. But we don't. I don't think we have anything that caliber. <laughs> Mostly, what I was trying to to do was keep. Um, Keep the the calibers relatively consistent, so I, like there are multiple guns that use the same caliber. So yeah. it's not just like I need this one caliber for this specific gun. Like uh, I didn't completely eliminate it. There are a couple guns like the like the MP7, uh, the P90 that are the only ones that use that ammo. But for the most part, like maybe we'll add a 5.7 down the line. You know, then you have more than one gun that uses it. But I just want to kind of tier it that way, where you have ammo. Uh, which is in its own kind of tier ranking kind of order. And then you have the weapons themselves that kind of also tier it further. Yeah. Makes sense. I guess similar how to, uh, to how Tarkov does it. Oh, I love that shotgun check. Uh... Ooh, that shotgun. Ooh. Like, just, just the weapon. Ah, the sound. You know that shotgun's going off in your ear. Oh, my God. Um, how do I... Let's, uh, can we drop these? And then we'll make sure we've got slugs in. There we go, slugs. Um, yeah, we are with the shiny uh, Haxorus, who is animation lead on Dead Matter. For those uh, interested, check out the Dead Matter official website and Discord um, for any announcements and information on keys and things like that and what the plan is for the future of Dead Matter. Uh, I am but a lowly uh, player of the game and things like that, so there's only so much I know, um, pretty much as much as you guys. So if you have any questions, I'm sure shiny will be uh, more than happy to answer. If, uh, or if there's anything you want me to answer, um, if I can catch it, I'm just so engrossed in this at the moment. So let's see what that... Uh, let's have a look at a different one. 
Okay, so it does. It is a slug. It's just one hole there. Yeah, same thing, I guess. I as well. I was thinking what that. the new weapons? Yes, I will be adding weapons as uh, CA progresses, as I get done with probably more uh, mission critical stuff like a map and binoculars and like a lighter and stuff like that. Uh, hello, Lumi, by the way. Sorry, dude. Hepsky, what's up? Going to turn this alarm off quick. The, uh, PSO on one of those AKs. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Not too bad. The the aiming. Uh, yeah. Can we attach? PSO one or a scope. Let's drag some of these down. Uh, a three forty scope. I don't know why I dragged that down. I didn't need to. Uh, yeah, we can attach that. We can attach that. Let's have one of these on and see what it's like. Not bad. You definitely got recoil there. That was way slower than than I wanted to be. There's um, we gotta drag it into there. Right click and remove scope. Uh, we can uh, remove doo -doo 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 -doo, rail mount. So we are purely just ADS now. Uh, iron sights now on ADS. Did I, press, did I press that? Still slower than my highest score, god. But yeah, it's nice. Very, very nice weapon. Weapons, weapons, weapons. I'm a sucker for good weapons and audio, for those that know. And that's, that's, that's what it is.